Hey, John Cristani here with guest Lily. The Queen. Queen Lily. And we're gonna be talking about how to make some serious money selling online courses. Last year, my business made four and a half million dollars selling courses. Uh, the year before that, we made millions. The year before that, we made over a million dollars selling courses. So overall, I've made over $10 million selling online courses. So I have a couple, I know a little thing or two about what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be breaking down what you need to know if you want to get into the online course selling business for yourself. So strap in, stay tuned. I'm gonna go over the step-by-step -step of how you can sell information online. Let's get into it. Hey, John Cristana here. I'm gonna be going over how to make money selling courses online. Now, the first thing you need to understand, though, is you need to be an expert first in whatever you're going through. Trying to sell courses should not be your first business venture. First off, it's a very competitive field out there. There's a lot of people selling courses in almost every subject nowadays, or there's more and more people entering this market. And the other thing to understand is there's even an entire business around calling people out who are fake gurus, who are teaching some subject matter, but have never done the subject matter or made serious money doing the subject matter they are teaching themselves. Now, some of these people in my industry include CoffeeZilla, Spencer Cornelia, Tom Nash, Mike Winnett, James Johnny. All these guys have made a lot of videos exposing people that are teaching subjects that they don't really know themselves or for unsavory marketing methods. Oh, thank you. Now, what's better than trying to teach knowledge that you don't know about is to develop a skill and to make money doing whatever it is you are teaching people before you try to go out and start teaching it. As I already mentioned, I've made a lot of money doing affiliate marketing. I made millions and millions of dollars doing affiliate marketing before I even got into the course selling business in 2017. I'd been doing affiliate marketing for five years, highly profitably, before I even started teaching anybody about how to make money through affiliate marketing. And even to this day, most of my revenue is through affiliate marketing. It's just very easy. My affiliate marketing is a little more complex now. I do what's called host and post, so I'm not even sending link traffic. I'm hosting posting forms on my own sites and I'm posting that information to companies that will buy the data from me. So I've gotten a little more complex over the years, but I'm still doing affiliate marketing. And for people who are going to pretend to have a skill so they can teach it and make money off of doing courses, you'll eventually get found out. You know, a lot of people are getting out of my industry right now because they don't have thick skin and they're just leaving. Now, the second thing you want to do is ensure there is proper demand for whatever information or course that you're going to be selling. You shouldn't just assume people are going to want to buy what Ever knowledge you have in your head. Just because you think it's cool doesn't mean the marketplace is necessarily gonna think what you're selling is interesting. Now, a good way to ensure that there's demand for your course that you're creating is, first off, is making sure that there are other people selling courses on your subject matter. That there are other people selling courses around the main problem it is that you solve. Now, the main problem that I solve in my course is I teach folks how to make money online and the problem is that folks they need to make money online they don't have an option of getting a job maybe or they don't have an option of going away from the office to work and they need to make money at home now again you can look at the most desperate sides of the market and there should literally be no other option for them other than whatever your solution is now for making money online there are some people who literally cannot get a job out outside of the home. One example is, uh, you know, many homeless people or many convicts are literally, they don't job options. So it's not even an option for them. They have to make money online. Nobody will hire them. So you can look at that and kind of use that as a barometer to determine is their demand for the information that you are selling. And furthermore, when you pinpoint the particular problem, it's much easier to use that to offer up your solution. Thank you, Lily. You're welcome. Yeah, you're making me look good for the people. I love you.
Now, the other thing you need to know about selling courses is that you should start small and then scale big. Now, if you've looked into this stuff before, I'm sure some of you have heard about the launch model. The launch model is this, <laughs> is this idea that you need to have a grand launch for your course, sort of like what Elon Musk does when he launches a new product or announces, you know, the new Tesla, the new Cybertruck, the new, you know, whatever it is. He has a big kind of Barnum and Bailey circus type of performance around the announcement and the launch and the pre-sales of his new product. You don't need to do this, and I don't recommend this for folks unless you have just a monster personal brand already. To start small, a good idea would be to give your course away for free to your first whatever, you determine the amount of students, but give it away for free free and get people's feedback on whether it's useful, what can be improved, where people didn't understand your content, make sure all the bugs are worked out, make sure people are receiving your emails, etc. Get all of the hard stuff out of the way and get testimonials because giving your course away for free is a great way to get user feedback and ultimately create that successful students and track record that you can use to really market your course because at the end of the day, nobody cares about the content of your course. Nobody cares about anything you say to pitch your own course. The only thing people care about in the marketing of your online course is what the students have to say, is what the other people are saying. Really, that's the trick to marketing is don't have to say anything yourself. If you just get positive testimonials, positive case studies, happy customers to say it for you, people care about that a lot more than hearing some slick pitch man with a beard or whatever. Now I'm gonna find my hat. Uh, I guess my daughter ran away. Hope that helps you out. Now the way I started was I actually did train people for free at first. And from my trainings, my students were able to make hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Multiple students of mine made hundreds of thousands of dollars when I first started training them uh, back in 2015. It was ridiculous. And after I got these insane students testimonials and case studies what I started doing at the end of uh, 2016 or something like that was I started charging for it and I would do calls I do Skype calls with everyone I literally just loaded all my videos up into a Google Drive folder I didn't have a website I literally had no website no marketing material for my course all I had was I put up a forum post on a affiliate marketing forum called stack that money now it's called stmforum.com I think and I put up a forum post there's couple thousand members paying about a hundred bucks a month and I got I forget what it was but something like a hundred students from one forum post because I had a very well written forum post that was really hit home with the audience that uh, were in this forum, with the users of the forum. I was familiar with the target market. And that ended up turning into a lot of money. I was charging, at the time I was charging $5,000 for all the information contained in my course. And from those students, about 100 students that came on board, a number of millionaires have come out of that group of students, people including Ronnie Sandlin and uh, a couple other people's names, which I don't know if they want their identities revealed now that they're super successful. But if you dig up old webinars of mine, you'll find a mention. So that was really exciting. And from that, from even more positive case studies, I was able to take those success stories and just use that for my marketing. And the more positive students, testimonies and case studies that I've gotten, the more people want to be a part of my training course and the easier it gets to market anything involved. But at the end of the day, what you've really got to look for in doing a course is you've got to look at the user experience. And over the years, as I've broadened my audience, you know, I've gone from teaching really advanced affiliate marketers how to do affiliate marketing to teaching folks that literally have no clue how to even like what a link is or how to copy paste, right? I literally get messages from people in our support desk of people asking how to copy pace you know so I'm teaching folks that have literally never even thought about making money on the internet
that before or with computers. And going from highly advanced to broad, what I've had to do is I've had to continually take away jargon from my language to broaden my market. And I've had to do a number of other items to just make my marketing and my course more appealing to folks. Because obviously with many millionaires, many success stories from my course, average folks will watch that and they'll want to jump in. Again, the marketing, the case studies, just they do the selling for you. So I continue to make my course better. We update it every single year. Year. We really focus on the user experience, the usability, the videos, everything step by step. We focus on a lot of contact, more than less contact, and we focus on really getting people watching the videos. You'd be surprised at how many people will purchase an online training program and then never go through the training program. And it's not for us lacking, you know, sending emails and text messages and phone calls to the folks that purchase my online training courses, but oftentimes it's, you know, I don't know, I guess folks make impulse purchases, then they change their mind or they just don't check their email. Not sure what it is, but you really want to focus on the user experience and really want to disqualify folks that won't be good fits and also qualify people and let people know who will be good fits. You can do courses on anything, whether that's, you know, how to do lighting for YouTube videos, how to become a YouTuber, how to become a furniture maker, how to make six figures a year catching fish up in Alaska. You could do a training course on half a million dollars a year working in oil fields as uh, without any experience. You know, there's so many jobs out there. There's so many ways you can earn a lot of money that don't even involve the internet. Uh, I personally view those, if you're looking for like specific areas of opportunity. I would definitely say there's a lot of opportunity in offline jobs. I mentioned fishing and uh, oil. These are six-figure jobs you can get with very little experience, just working hard. And I think courses about stuff such as that, how to get offline jobs that pay six figures or more a year, just is a monster opportunity. And, you know, although I said earlier that you should be an expert in a field yourself, you can also hire experts to do courses for you. So if you want my, you know, real deep, you know, John, give me the golden nugget advice. What I would say is try that out. Exactly what I said. And try to set up your own course doing that and really show people those six figure jobs that they can do with little experience offline. And I'm sure you'll have a whole host of people begging and trying to get your sort of course. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you guys want to get money. Make sure to also hit the notification bell. Every single Monday I go live and I give away gift cards from Amazon, free Amazon money. You see, we scratch them off live. That's $100 right there. All these have already been claimed, I'm assuming, but giving away PayPal money too. So just giving away lots of money to reward you for being a subscriber every Monday at 9 a.m. Talk to you then, ask your questions, and if you wanna be involved in the community, make sure to join the Discord down. There's a link in the description below. Thanks, have a good day, bye.